hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a form of treatment where patients breathe 100% oxygen for a specified period of time at pressures greater than sea level. By breathing oxygen at high pressures, a large amount of oxygen can be carried in the blood. The first hyperbaric chamber in Singapore can be traced back to Singapore General Hospital in the 1970s when it was first used by the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. It was later relocated to the Republic of Singapore Navy. In the past, hyperbaric oxygen therapy was used mainly to treat decompression illness. Today, hyperbaric oxygen therapy at the Singapore General Hospital is used to treat many other clinical conditions. Besides being an effective treatment for decompression illness, hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been shown to be effective in the management of problem wounds, especially diabetic foot ulcers. Patients with diabetes mellitus may develop big and small blood vessel disease over time. When the blood vessels are badly blocked, oxygen cannot be delivered effectively. Without adequate oxygen in the tissues, wounds cannot heal properly. By breathing in pure oxygen at high pressures, hyperbaric oxygen therapy greatly increases the amount of oxygen dissolved in the blood. The much needed oxygen can then be delivered to the wound age to enhance the healing process by stimulating growth of new blood vessels and new cells. Revascularization, which is a procedure to improve blood flow, may be necessary before starting hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Without adequate blood flow, oxygen cannot reach the site where it's most needed. In order to receive this therapy, patients will need to go inside a specially designed and built vessel where the high pressure environment is created. These vessels or chambers can accommodate one or more patients. The chambers are usually compressed by air for safety reasons. Patients then breathe 100% oxygen via a transparent hood or mask. Some smaller chambers may be compressed with 100% oxygen. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is generally a safe form of treatment with a low rate of complications, mainly due to the effects of change in ambient pressure and high concentration of oxygen. Problem wounds usually require 20 to 30 treatment sessions or more depending on the response. Each treatment session lasts about 2 hours and the treatment pressure is between 2 to 3 atmosphere absolute, which is equivalent to 10 to 20 meters underwater. The actual treatment can be divided into three phases, compression, maintenance of pressure, and decompression. During the compression phase, the pressure in the chamber is increased slowly to the treatment depth. There will be a sensation of fullness in the ears, similar to that felt during takeoff or landing in an aeroplane. Equalization techniques will be taught to ease the sensation of fullness in the ears. Patients will feel warm during this phase. Once the depth is reached, patients can relax and read a book or watch a program on the in-chamber entertainment system while breathing oxygen in a transparent hood or a mask. Once treatment is completed, patients will be decompressed back to sea level. Again, there will be a sensation of fullness in the ears which will resolve spontaneously. Patients will feel cold during this phase. I hope this program has given you some basic knowledge about hyperbaric oxygen therapy and understand how it can be used to treat selected problem wounds by supplying a high concentration of oxygen to your body effectively. Thank you for watching.